Hey everyone, welcome to the first um, interview problem explanation. Yeah. Okay, so today we're gonna go over this question called add digits. Um, I made, I already filmed or recorded the uh, mock interview where I did this on the spot. Um, I would say that the order you should do these is first, if you want, do the problem yourself. Uh, then watch this if you got stuck and uh, either compares my solution to your solution or um, if you got stuck, then watch this video to guide yourself through. It might also be really helpful if you had this open so that you could follow along. Uh, the problem is called add digits. Then watch the other mock interview video to see how I approach this problem on the spot. Um, yeah. Okay, so first I'll explain the problem. So you're given a non-negative integer num and uh, you repeatedly add all its digits until the result has only one digit. So if you're given 38, you take 3 and 8, you add them together, then you get 11, then you add those together, then you get two, and that's one digit, so you return it. So that's pretty simple, right? Uh, if you had like 111, it would turn into three, and you'd be done. If this was like 100 and 199, then it'd be 19, then it would turn to 10, then it'd turn to one. Okay, so when you first get a problem, you have to sort of figure out like, you can't just start coding, okay? Um, it's normal to think, think things through, think out the algorithm, think out how you wanna approach it. So um, why don't I give you a few minutes, pause the video right now, think about how you would approach this problem. And I'll set a timer now. So when I thought about this, I was like, okay, well, if I were to do this by hand, how would I do it? Well, I would, let's start with to use 199 again. I would take 199, then I take its digits, add them together, one plus nine, plus nine, and that would give me uh, what was it, 19? Then I would take 19 and do 1 plus 9 and that would give me 10. Then I would take 1 plus 0 and that would give me 1. Okay, so this is how I would do this by hand. So how would I convert this to code? Before writing actual code, sometimes it's helpful to just have some idea of what I even want to code. So. The perfect way is just pseudocode, right? So why don't I give you a couple of minutes to first write your own pseudocode, and then we can compare it to my pseudocode. All right, so I'll start writing some pseudocode. So um, as you can see, since we're doing the same things over here, um, this is the a perfect opportunity to um, use a loop and just do the same thing over the loop. Uh, then we we have like some sort of result and then um, yeah actually I think it's just easier just to like pseudocode it out. So um, definitely we'll have a loop. Let's say it's a uh, a while, so like while number mm, not single digit. While the number is not single digit, um, add digits together and store that in, uh, let's say, sum. Then, um, 
Oh, let's throw that in number. Yeah, just throw that in number. And then feed it back to number and do it again, right? And just keep doing it until a number is single digit, then return number. Yeah. Okay, so um, now that is the iterative way. Uh, what if we want to do it recursively? Well, um, we first check if our base case is, well, we first check if our number is already single digit, and if so, we just return it, and that's what we call the base case. So, uh, So if number right is a single digit, then we just return num. Otherwise, we want to add together dig the digits. So add digits together and put that in. We can put it in num, or we can just call it new num. So new num. We don't know if it's um, a single digit yet, but if we call add digits on it, we can assume that whatever add digits returns will be a single digit. So then we just return that. Okay, so these are our two, um, at least my two pseudocodes of this. Now, I'll give you a few minutes to code it out yourself, and then um, I'll code out each of these, and we'll, and then afterwards you can compare uh, my solution to your solution. Go. All right then. So I think I'm going to first code out the iterative solution. So while number is not a single digit, how do we how do we test that? Well, if it's zero through nine, it's single digit, right? So we can either do while uh, num is less than or equal to nine, or while num is less than ten. So we'll do less than or equal to nine. So while that is true, we do. We just add all the digits together. Um, so how do we do that? Well, uh, well, we can. I should. I could have wrote that in the pseudocode, but I guess I'll just figure that out now. Um, so how do we add all the digits together? Um, what we could do is take out the singles digits each time and then shifting the number over. What I mean by that is if number is equal to, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, then we would take six uh, new num equal to six, right? Then we shift it over. So one, two, three, four, five, six becomes one, two, three, four, five. Then we take five. Then we take four. Then we take three. Then we take two. Then we take one. And how do you, how do we do that with modulo and division? So. Um, we will first instantiate a new num equal to zero. Then 
while num is less is greater than zero. So while num is greater than zero, um, and single digit or one's place equals num mod 10, right? So that's going to take get the singles digit. Um, then we add that to new num. And then we shift num over. And at the end of this, um, new num will now be uh, the sum of all the digits. So we set num equal to new num. Then it will perform this check and it will just keep running until num is finally a single digit. Then we just return num. Uh, let's submit this. Hopefully it passes. Please pass. What? What? Okay. Last executed input. So if it's zero, oh god. <laughs> okay, if singles digit is um, greater, so while it is not, while it is not a single digit. My bad guys, this is my first video. <laughs> so while, yeah, if we're looking for while number is not a single digit, then num has to be greater than or equal to nine. I mean, greater than nine. Oh man, okay, yay. So this is the iterative solution. Let's put this inside here. All right, let's do this recursively now. So recursively, um, It is pretty much the same. The basic algorithm is the same. So uh, first, we want to check if the number is a single digit. So this time, we want to check if number is less than or equal to 9. If it's less than or equal to 9, that means it's single digit, and we just return it. Otherwise, we add the numbers together. Um, since it's the same algorithm, I'm just going to copy it over. So, all right, so at the end of this, a uh, new num will be the new number. And, um, Let's see, we add the number of digits together and we just return uh, add digits on this new num. Hopefully this passes. Cool. Okay, so um, I know this problem was a little bit simple. It's like difficulty easy. So if you watch the mock interview problem, um, you'll see that I sort of couldn't figure out the follow-up, which is, could you do it without any loop or recursion in constant time? Uh, I pretty much was like, 
you shouldn't even need to know this. Like this, the solution I came up with was like perfectly good if you saw it in an interview, and it was probably some like math thing, and I gave up, but I was right. So if you look at the solution, uh, it is actually like kind of mathy, you know. So basically, you just have to derive the formula and just apply it. And I just think this is definitely not something you should expect yourself to do. Although it is an interesting read, congruence formula. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, tell me what you think of this format. Uh, what I could do better, what you liked, and what I can improve on. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll keep. So hopefully I'll keep doing these videos and um, hope this helps. Thanks.